Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, and it's a pleasure to be here with all of uh, our colleagues from the G7, which is really the essential coordinating committee for the world's leading democracies. Um, we have an opportunity today to follow up on the very good work that our leaders did uh, in Puglia. Uh, and I want to thank again my friend and our uh, chair, uh, Antonio Tahani, for the uh, remarkable work that Italy did and has continues to do in leading the G7 uh, this year. Um, I think you see through the G7 extraordinary collaboration and coordination on the critical issues uh, of our time, uh, including, of course, Russia's aggression against Ukraine, uh, the ongoing challenges in the Middle East, uh, and uh, all the work that we're doing together uh, in the Indo-Pacific. Uh, G7 strongly complements the work that's being done here at NATO. We had a very good day yesterday uh, with the first day of our summit, not only celebrating 75 years of the alliance, but in particular putting the alliance in strong shape for the next 75 years, including uh, the many issues that we face today. Uh, the summit declaration that came out yesterday shows strong convergence among all NATO members, including, of course, uh, G7 members, uh, on dealing effectively with the Russian aggression against Ukraine, on dealing effectively with other challenges to our alliance, uh, including uh, those coming uh, from the Indo-Pacific region, and in particular as well the important partnerships that we have, we're developing, we're strengthening with partners from beyond uh, the uh, NATO alliance. But I look forward to the conversation today uh, and the work that the G7 in particular is doing to advance all of these issues. Um, Antonio, again, thank you for your leadership and over to you. Thank you very much, Tony. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for hosting us in this beautiful town in Washington. We are very happy. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to welcome uh, David. It's a new member of this family. Congratulations for your victory in the election. Congratulations. We will work together in the, in the next years for strengthening the cooperation between the G7 countries. Uh, it's important for us the unity of this G7 for defense, uh, rule of law, uh, democracy and freedom in the world. Uh, today we will debate on one of the most important point for us is the Middle East. We are working hard for peace, for the stability. Uh, of course, our engagement in defense of Ukraine is, is the other priority. Uh, we will back uh, Zelensky and Ukraine. We will support uh, Ukraine. We want to achieve peace, but peace without justice is not peace. Also, in the Middle East, we need to work hard uh, together. I want to thank you for your engagement. I think the clear message to Russia and to the other councils for peace is our unity. The unity of G7, of course, we want to talk with the others. We want to, to open the door, but we, we need to enlarge the dialogue with other countries. In the next G7, we will have many guests, but I think the, our unity is crucial if we want to pay the way for peace and defense of our values. because. G7 is not only a political organization, it's also uh, the, the house of democracy. For this, we will work to, together also today during this short meeting focused on Middle East Festival. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.